Thank you and welcome back to Fred Mwangi TV. Kindly subscribe, like and comment and share this video widely. Now, a Kenya Defense Forces KDF helicopter has crashed at court fire in Cedar area on the border of West Pokot and Erikeo Marquette counties. The chopper was current chief of Defense Forces Francis Ogola. According to the police, five occupants of the chopper has died while three has survived. The three survivors has been artificed by the second KDF aircraft. Elgeo Marquette County Commandant Peter Morige confirmed the incident. According to the county commandant, the ill-fated aircraft was among three choppers which were leaving Chep 12 area. It was the first to take off before crash landing minutes later. According to the county police boss, KDF has condoned of the scene of the crash. Nation Africa has established the chopper has taken off from Chip to tell boys secondary school in Sego constituency, West Pocot County, where the KDF team is reconstructing the school affected by body tree. This follows President William Ruto's order to the military last week to reconstruct Vardarish schools in Chepsego area. A resident, Mr. Tito Ropuriang, who attended the meeting with KDF, says the officers had just finished addressing the public at the school before taking off the military aircraft. The officers boarded the chopper and after a few minutes we saw the smoke. He says he said security, including the KDF team, had visited five schools that were affected by body tree for renovation. This issue of Francis Ogola has touched a lot of many Kenyans, which have been um, the, be the biggest topic on this. Uh, President William Luto has called an urgent meeting of senior security personnel at State House, Nairobi, following this afternoon fatal crash of a chopper believed to have had Chief Defense Forces Francis Ogola on board. The National Security Council is compromised of the President, his Deputy, the Defense Minister, the Attorney General, the Chief of Defense Forces, the Director General of the National Intelligence Service, and the Inspector General of Police. It is the highest decision-making organ of the country on security matters and is mandated with, among others, exercising supervisory control over national security organs and performing other functions related to national security. Details were still scanty over the status of those on board in the ill-fated helicopter at the time of writing this story, and President Trudeau was scheduled to address the nation from State House on the crash. The military was yet to release the official confirmation of those uh, on board the ill-fated aircraft with the nation other stars was ferrying senior military officers from a mission to survey the construction of schools attacked by buddies in Pokot region. And now, thank you for watching this video. Kindly subscribe, like, and comment, and share this video widely. My name is Fred from Fred Mangi TV on YouTube. Kindly make sure you have subscribed, like, and comment, and share this video. Let's meet on the next one.